How's it going, everybody? Hey, getting ready to go to the so-called rich and wealthy side of town. Check out one of their grocery stores to see what they have. Let's go check it out. See you on the road. check out Central Market which is technically another HEB let's go check it out and see what they have okay let's see what we got here the shopping cart I am a fan of the small shopping cart most times let's see well they got this place decked out for the wealthy folk over here some big organic grapefruits. I think these are organic. Some huge grapefruit. Look at the display here. Like the presentation of the vegetable over here is amazing. Look at this. Like it almost doesn't even look real. But it's real. It's just beautiful. I mean, look at this. Wow, the cabbage. Red cabbage, savoy cabbage. Wow, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Brussels sprouts. Look at all the green leafy vegetables over here. Different types of lettuce, greens. Dollar forty eight each. It's not bad. I think that was each. Carrots. This looks nice. Real nice there. Over here we get the pine berries. Now, never heard of pine berries before, maybe because I'm just an old country boy. But it's like some light colored strawberries. Never had them before. I probably will try some today. But never, never seen them, never heard of them before. And look at this. This looks like some kind of art exhibit or something. Organic mushrooms, yellow oyster mushrooms. These mushrooms, I mean, they really look like they belong in some kind of art exhibit. Blue oyster mushroom. That's crazy. Like something that belongs in the sea. Wow. Plenty of apples. I remember there are some stores that I've been into lately that didn't have this much. But this one seems to be loaded. Nice looking apples here. Very nice. Got here. Little over the counter stuff. Vitamins. Plenty of that. I'll probably say stock up on a lot of this too. Because you never know. They may stop selling some of these things. If they find out it's good for you, they may stop selling it. Your alcohol got the 91% hydrogen peroxide. Of course, your band aids over here have baking powder, different types of flour here, early morning harvest brand, whole wheat flour organic so it says not bad selection there of course it went back over to the over-the-counter items here apple cider vinegar tablets hair skin nails collagen I mean they have all of these things here Beets. I don't know what is. Uh, I I don't know if 
this is a place I would come. You know, and it had to be a last resort. Got your paper towel, toilet tissue. Five twenty-seven for six rows toilet tissue, or bath tissue, as some people may call it. Even though you don't technically bathe with it, that's uh weird. Now they have some pasta, decent selection. I would say in your regular HEB, there's a there's more variety. But remember, this is a store that's focused on or targeting people who want to eat healthy and don't mind paying for it more pasta over here I think these are like the Asian type noodles and pasta quite a few of those so if you can't find anything else this wouldn't be bad to store of course you have your organic canned goods Pinto beans, salad beans. Then, of course, you have your green beans, corn, things like that. Black beans. You can definitely pick up some of those. And if you don't like the prices now, and I'll tell you what, if gas prices keep going up, they're going to get much worse. So get it while you can. Meat. Nice pack of meat there. It's all the pork over here in this area. Pork spare ribs. So they have quite a quite a few uh packages of meat available. I'm not too fond of the prices, but hey, if it's all that's left, get it. Turkey sausage. Look at all of the meats over here. Cowboy bacon seasoned burger. Got your regular ground beef. Ground pork, all natural. Look at here. Veal, center shanks. Rack of lamb. Wow. How many of us are going to be worried about rack of lamb in the SHTF scenario? Don't get me wrong, it'd be nice. Look at this lamb shank natural leg of lamb over there. Wow, looks nice, very tasty. I haven't had lamb in a little while. Tuscan seasoned rack of pork. Yeah, the people in this area are eating pretty nice. Ribeye steak natural. Throw that on the grill or in the oven, however you like to do it. I'm more of a grill person myself. Angus beef, ribeye steak, flat brisket. Look at this. Beef oxtails. That price is ridiculous. Ten ninety nine a pound. And you don't get much. The ground truck. Pretty nice. Could you have your air chilled chicken? Dollar forty four a pound. Here got your different bacon. Real nice. In the comments, what's the best way to store bacon? The best way to store bacon to make it last as long as it possibly can. We know it won't last forever, but as long as you possibly can. Sausage. Oh, there's prosciutto over here. $29.99 a pound. I think the other one was $34.99 a pound. So as you can see in that store, it's more of a uh, healthy, it's, it's like a healthier version of a typical H-E-B it's located in a uh, I guess you could say kind of a well-to-do or maybe somewhat 
wealthy area of Houston, the River Oaks area. Uh, you can see what they have in there as far as like the selections and the and the uh, and the cuts of uh, meat, all the healthy products, the health products, many name brands that you you know you're just not going to find in your typical H E B or or a grocery store for that matter. They're catering to those who look to have a healthy lifestyle at the same time don't mind spending money on it you know they have a i guess you can say a expendable income uh but one thing i was thinking while i was in there it, it, maybe it's just me and i could be completely uh judging misjudging people but i'm sitting here thinking i wonder how these people would survive or how they would perform in an shtf scenario because it seemed like you know there's a, a high level of like uh comfortability with people in that in that store that I that I noticed, um, that was just that was just something that was floating, you know, around in my mind as I'm in the store. But uh, everyone's very nice in the store, by the way. Um, but yeah, I mean, do you guys have a Central Market HEB in your area? Um, I'm assuming, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm assuming if you don't live in a so-called wealthy type area, you probably don't have one. Uh, as far as me coming to this store to prep, I would say this, it would be a last resort. I would go to a regular, what I'll call a regular HEB before I come to this place because the prices are better. And I'd also say this too, if you have kids, they don't have a lot of kid items in here. This is more like a active, healthy, somewhat wealthy, if not all the way wealthy um, person type of store. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you've been to one of these stores before, if you've seen them in your area, please let me know in the comments. Uh, right now, you know, you got to make sure you get everything you can because gas prices on the rise, which mean, well, food costs are going to be on the rise. So get what you can. Even if you have to come to a store like this as a last resort, if everything else is sold out everywhere else, you may not be able to get as much, but at least you'll have something. Uh, please give the video a like. Please subscribe to the channel. And as always, get ready, stay ready. God bless.